exposing the Beatles song Rain played backwards. The Beatles Rain, the flip side of their paperback writer record, was released on May 30th, 1966. Although both songs were recorded for Revolver, you won't find them on that album. John Lennon contributed to the song Rain, which was ascribed to the songwriting duo of Lennon and Paul McCartney. It's about people grumbling about the weather all the time, he said, describing the song's theme. Backward voices, a droning bass line, and a slowed down rhythm track make up the song's recording. Although the Beatles had already employed the same approach on the Revolver track, Tomorrow Never Knows, recorded days previously, its release marked the first occasion that reverse sounds featured in a pop song. Ringo Starr thinks of drumming on Rain is the best he's ever done in a studio. Three short films were made to promote the song and are now widely recognized as pioneering examples of music videos. So what was the inspiration for the song? John Lennon remarked that the song was about people grumbling because they don't like the weather. When asked about the meaning of rain, in another reading, the songs Rain and Sun referred to the sensations of a safe LSD trip. Lennon had already sung of the power of the mind over the body in the Beatles' 1963 song, There's a Place. But in Rain, he expanded on his theme while under the influence of hallucinogenic substance. And according to author Nicholas Schaffner, Hey Jude is the first Beatles song to explore the idea that the physical world is an illusion, a central theme for both John Lennon and George Harrison during the band's psychedelic era. Lennon claimed sole authorship of Rain in a 1970s piece about the Lennon-McCartney songwriting team. Paul McCartney claims in his authorized 1997 biography, Many Years From Now, that he and John worked together on the song and that 70-30 to John goes to John for writing the majority of the lyrics. So how was the song composed? According to musicologist Alan Pollock, Rain powerfully mimics the style of Indian classical music with its droning harmony. The song has an Indian vibe because of Harrison's distorted lead guitar, Ringo Starr's drums, and the usage of reverse tape effects, which ethnomusicologist David Reck has acknowledged as a more delicate absorption of Orientalism than Tomorrow Never Knows and Love You Too. Lennon incorporates the flat timber and embellishment gamaka of Hindustani vocal music into his singing. Lennon later claimed that the usage of reverse vocals in the song's finale was the first time it had been done on record. The reverse segment of the song is a montage of Lennon's vocals, starting with him singing sunshine and ending with him singing a slow rain from one of the choruses before the song's opening line if the rain comes they run and cover their heads author robert rodriguez writes that john lennon's performance created the sound of a blissed out zealot speaking in tongues in a trance-like state especially when paired with the backup vocalist singing the song title on another track in this case Lennon and producer George Martin both took the kudos. So when was the song released? The song Rain was included as a bonus track on the album Paperback Writer. Release dates in the UK were June 10th, 1966 and 30th in the US with the title Capital 5651. The Beatles' last UK single, Day Tripper slash We Can Work It Out, was released in December 1965. After spending much of the 1966 out of the public eye, the new album demonstrated drastic shifts in the Beatles' image. According to music critic John Savage, the two songs represent opposing sides of the psychedelic coin, both being drenched in clanging guitar and Indian textures. According to author Sean Levy, the single was the first indication that the Beatles were about to become the world's first household psychedelics, avatars of something wilder and more innovative than anything pop culture had provided before or since. This was the album Revolver. Soulful, medium paced and effectively rendered bluesier is how Cashbox defined the song. 
and it reached its highest position on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 23 on July 9, 1966, and stayed there for the following week. The single release of Paperback Writer topped the charts in the United Kingdom, the United States, Australia, and West Germany. So, what are your thoughts on today's video? What do you think about the Beatles song Rain? Please let us know in the comment section below, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Keep an eye out for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.